Guys, it's Deb from Aussie Mail. Welcome to our Saturday night live stream. I hope everybody is well tonight. And I hope this is going through because I'm getting a bad stream from uh, YouTube. Yep. It's going through okay? Uh, it's coming through now. You can see me? Excellent. Kim says hiya. Kim, oh, yep, I see. It come up quicker on yours than mine. Hey, Kim and Anthea, how are you guys? <laughs> Hey Jenny and Margaret, how are we all going today? Hey Cheryl, not first off the mark today. Um, Di and Lisa, it's good to see you. Megan and Debbie D. Hey Julie Love, how are you going? Ace, Rosalind, Mar Wendy, Marion, Hilda, oh, lots and lots of people here. Have we all had a good day? All right, I guess we're going to jump into this. Hey Rodney, good to see you. Hey Janine, you waited this time Cheryl. <laughs> good on you love. <laughs> awesome. All right, so we're doing two weaves tonight or I'll quickly demonstrate two weaves tonight. Um, there's basically the base weave uh, which is Sunburst, um, which uh, went out as a kit for our Mail Club subscribers. And then we'll I'll show you how to do Solstice Weave, which is based on Sunburst, and that one went out as earrings. So I'll just flip this over to the other camera um, so we can get started on all of this. All right, so as normal, I've got a few samples here for you guys to look at. So this one here, as I said, it's a sunburst bracelet. Um, this one's in 14 gauge AWG, which is 1.6 millimeter diameter wire. Now the main ring size for this is 5.75 millimeters. And the joining rings, these ones here, are 14 gauge 5 millimeter ID. Okay, then there's the 16 gauge version, which is 1.2 millimeter wire. Uh, the ring IDs for the brace for the unit is 4.25 mils and the joining rings I just used 3.5 millimeter for those. The 18 gauge version which is one millimeter diameter wire. Um, normally you would use a 3.5 millimeter ID um, but I didn't have them with me so instead I used 964ths of an inch which is 3.57 millimeters and the joining rings for this one is uh, three mils flappy wings yes and uh, this one is the 20 gauge 0 0.8 millimeter the rings used for the unit is three mils and the joining rings I just used the 2.5 mil rings so it was a little tricky to try and find rings that actually kept the shape properly. Um, in theory, the weave is supposed to look like this and it doesn't really stay that way. You can see that the, the rings tend to flop around. So um, I did try a few different sizes to try and get it to behave in the way that the listing on male artisans seemed to indicate it would but I couldn't find any ring sizes that worked. Um, so you, you have to embrace, embrace the floppy with this one. Um, lavender and lavender pink, yes, Ray, for with those. With a silver joiner, isn't with it? With a silver joiner, yeah. Mm. Yeah. I mean, the joiner, you can join them with anything. You don't have to have the size that I stated as long as it's big enough for the... Um, two ring IDs to go through, but they were just the ones that I chose to use. Okay, so we'll get started. So these are pretty easy. These, this session should actually go quite quick, which is why I thought we would do the two weaves. So to start this one up using your, I'm doing this in 16 gauge today. My hands are a bit sore and I didn't want to work in 14 gauge. So uh, 16 gauge, four point. 4.25 millimeter you need to close four of those rings to start with so I'll just finish closing that up and 
Okay, and then you need to just take up another ring in the same ID and feed all those four rings onto it. Okay, close it up. And then separate that out so that you've got a chain that's two, one, and then two. Then taking up another ring with the same ID. Having embraced the floppy. Typical boys. Can't take his anywhere, can we? All right, feed your open ring through one end of one pair of rings. We want actually to have three uh, rings in total in there. So we'll just feed the other two in. And one more. Okay. Just excuse my hands. They are really sore today. I've been naughty and I've overmailed. Okay, so we've got our three rings in there now. So this next step is about as tricky as it gets for this weave. So with another opened ring, what I want you to do now is to feed that ring, I'll use the stabby McStabby, just through the two outside rings. So turn your work on the side so you can see those three rings that we just added. And then our ring just goes through those two the outside ring, so it pushes the middle ring up. Okay. So just push that through like that. Uh, wait a minute, I've gone, picked up the wrong ring there. I've gotten tricky, I've mobiased it at the same time. There we go. Okay, so our work now looks like this. And then we want to do the same on the other side. Now this time, when we put that ring in place, we want to make sure that those two rings that we go through sit either side of that middle ring down there. Okay, so we don't want them to be both on one side like that when we put our uh, ring in place. We want that to be on either sit on either side so that's just something to keep an eye on because it, it can move around and and you end up with it on the same place so again just through the two outside rings making sure that they're sitting one on side of the middle ring making sure that that middle ring is pushed up and close it up so there's one half and we need to just do the same on the other side. So turn it around, put three rings through our pair. So I'll just do that now. Two and one more. Oop. So I get for trying to read messages and mail at the same time. It doesn't work very well. Okay, so we've got our three rings, and again, taking up another opened ring. Remember, these are all using the same size. We go through rings one and three. Close that up. So our work looks like this. And then we flip this over to the other side. And we do the same on the other side. This time though, making sure that those rings are straddling our center ring. And what you doing, babe? Okay. Oh, I'm 
mine's just moved all out of place. There we go. Sorry about this, guys. Mine's all flipped around. I'm going to... There we go. All right. Got it again. So the same rings on the other side, making sure that they straddle that middle ring and that the middle of those three there is poking up. If all of that's working fine, you can close it up. So that's one unit and you pretty much just keep making that unit and then you just join each of those units together to make the bracelet. So does anybody need me to demonstrate that again? It's pretty, I know it's fiddly at the 16 gauge, but I didn't actually have any more rings in this size to do it at the 14 gauge. So did everybody see that okay? Or um, should I do it again? Jane said she missed a bit and she was struggling with her cat. Okay. All right, well, I'm going to assume that everybody's okay with this. Nope, as in nope, all good. <laughs> all right, beautiful. So that's it, super simple. You shouldn't really have a problem with it. As I said, you just need to make sure that when you put that second side ring in place, that rings one and two straddle your center ring. That's pretty much the only way you're going to muck up. So then to move on to solstice, which is this here. Okay, I've only done this in the one size, so I can't give you any other sizes than what I've used for the earrings. Uh, but this again is 16 gauge AWG 1.2 with 4.25 millimeter. And then the outside rings here are 18 gauge, um, 3.5 millimeter ID okay so you can also um, make up several of these units join it together in a bracelet I just chose to do it as um, a set of earrings for something different all right so to start with this you can start off with this unit here that we've already done for our um, what's it called sunburst yep good so just take a, a unit as you've already prepared it there. And what we want to do is just now put another two units onto here. Okay, so to do that, we're just going to attach a pair of our 4.25 mil rings to our center ring. Okay, and then once we've got that pair in place, we then put our three rings on as we did before. So there's one. Why are you tormenting the cat? Sorry. <laughs> it seemed appropriate. Two. And one more. Okay, so there's our three rings that we did previously. And then we just do the same thing again, taking up another ring, turning our piece to the side so we can see the edge of those three rings we just added. And we put that ring through rings one and three on one side, close it up, flip it over, do the same on the other side. Just making sure we've got all our rings in the correct position and we only go through rings one and three okay so we've got three sections there now and we just want to pop one more in 
So again, another pair to our center ring. And then to those two rings, we add three. There's one, two, three. Okay. And then again, we turn our work so that we see the side of those three rings with another opened ring. We go through rings one and three, close it up, turn it over to the other side. Just moving this center ring, it's dropped down, there we go. being fiddly. There we are. Okay. And then we position our last ring on the other side there. It's a little bit trickier because all the other pieces are in the way but it's not so tight that it's impossible to do. The fact that I don't have magnification is not helping either. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, so we've got four of those sections in place. And now what we need to do is join these sections together. Okay, so this time we're going to use our 3.5 millimeter rings in 18 gauge. I'm going to go through and we're just going to take one wing from one section, a wing from the next, and close it up. Now the original weave didn't call for two rings to be put in here, um, but I just found it helped a little bit by putting two rings in instead of one. So double that ring up, then move around to the next section and feed it through. Can they hear that, can they? Mm -hmm. ah. All right, one more. Okay, so just do that all the way around till you've got four pairs placed, joining all the sections together. One more. Okay. So you can see now that we've joined all those sections together and we've got four pairs of rings there. <coughs> Daryl's trying to get us in trouble, isn't he? I think so. All right. <laughs> And our final step is now to join those two rings that we just placed to that center ring of the three that we pushed up in the unit there. Okay, so just join those up and do that all the way around your uh, piece.
Now you might want to double that up, that's up to you. Um, I've just done it singularly. Okay. And that's basically it. That's uh, a solstice unit. So as I said, you can join a whole lot of them together, create a bracelet, um, do what I did and make a pair of earrings out of them. It's a bit small for a pendant, but if you played with some of the larger sizes, you maybe want to make a pendant or something out of it. But it's fairly simple to do. It's a long way around though. Okay, nearly there. So I assume everyone is okay with that. As I said, they weren't they weren't difficult weaves to do. Um, hopefully, you guys could see all of that. So with this one here, instead of the eighteen gauge, uh, instead of the BA around the outside, you could do the nine sixty fourths in the eighteen gauge in the aluminium to put a little bit of colour in. Okay, so that's what the final piece looks like. And then to turn them into earrings, I mean, for the studs that I was using, I just reopened one of the large middle rings and fed the stud onto it and then closed it back up. But if your earrings um, have got the loop a different way, then you'd probably just want to add a couple of extra rings or something like that. But it's a nice, easy, um, and effective weave. I like the um, the adaption from the basic weave into into almost like a mandala type shape. But yeah, it's quite pretty. I quite like this one. Alrighty, so that's it. That's the weaves. Two weaves done at twenty three past seven. Mm, you flew through them. Flew through them. Okay. So everyone's good, everyone's, I mean, as I said, it's it's not, it, you guys should be up for it. It shouldn't be a problem. Is Chris okay? <laughs> Haven't passed out yet. Haven't passed out yet? Not with all the heat under the lights. Oh my God, you're not even <laughs> under the lights. What are you whinging about? God, he's a sook. <laughs> now, Jane was asking about fidget toys for chain mail, so I thought we might quickly show her that. All right. Didn't somebody direct it to Lisa's? Uh, yeah, just so she can see see what they're okay. talking about. So this is the fidget toy. So who was it? Sorry, Jane. Jane. This is Lisa Ellis's fidget toy. Um, I don't have the details of where you can uh, go to buy that, but if you search for Lisa Ellis I'm sure the name will come up she's got a, quite a few good tutorials uh, but this one's a bit of a fun one so Chris thought you might want to see how that works so basically you just yeah turn it inside out okay hopefully that helped so it's not um, it's very time consuming to do those fidget toys. I did one and just went, yeah, that's it. I've done it now. I don't need to do another one. I had several planned, but after one, I just stopped. <laughs> <laughs> you do so much mailing. <laughs> uh. um, Infinity Rose Fidget Toy. Is that what it's called? Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, Ray. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, it's a video tutorial, though. She only has a video tutorial for it, so you do have to down, be able to download a video file in order to do it. All right, so that's the weave. I'm assuming everyone, as I said, is okay with that. Um, yeah, it's, it's a bit of fun to do. Um, if you need help with the sizing and that, just contact us. That's made out of rings that we stock, so... Um, there's no problem with that, it, it works well. 
Okay, all right, so, um, yeah, they were, I found it very time consuming. As I said, after I did one, um, I decided I didn't actually need to do any more. And Chris has that one on his desk. Yeah. Yeah. For all the time when you're stressing me out. You're a funny man. <laughs> funny, funny man. All right, I had hoped to be able to tell you tonight that registrations for MailCon were open today. Unfortunately, the website is not uh, playing fair and we're having a few issues with the registration process. So we're nearly ready. Um, Chris has got a couple of more things to try to try and get this to work apparently. Yep. And we'll hopefully have it ready for uh, registrations in a few days. Can't guarantee anything though. 15, Susie. She's done well. Ugh. I don't think I've done 15 of anything. <laughs> so we are working on it. Like I said, Chris was Chris has been working really hard all week to get the website um, up and going because we had to move the website off one server onto another and there's been all sorts of issues. There's been an upgrade of software and it just didn't all come together in time, unfortunately. I really wanted to tell you guys to that it was open but it will be very, very soon, okay? Hopefully by the middle of the week, but I can't um, I can't guarantee anything at this stage. Hurry up, Chris, yeah, I know, right? I've been saying that to him all week. <laughs> what do you mean it's not ready yet? You put away the bag of peanuts. <laughs> all right, guys. Um, grab bag was very relaxing oh oh i bet it was you guys are crazy i bet it was a few people have picked up on that i, I don't no i love it no no all those tiny scales in there no no that's why you guys have got them because <laughs> i didn't want to sort through it <laughs> it's not my jam at all <laughs> um and then i guess the other thing let's see i've got mail con the other thing is we did get the printer back and working so we are back on track for our first lots of trays so they'll be these colors uh, we've got the red and the purple printed so far we're just waiting to print some up in the uh, light blue no sky blue, sky yeah. blue. that was sky blue that one mm -hmm. and these two should be available for purchase by the middle of the week do you think at the latest okay by the middle of the week we should be able we'll have these three colors up um, for purchase so um, we'll let you guys know when that happens but yeah we've got um, how many about 20 of each about color 20 of each. there'll be roughly about 20 of each color that'll go up with the first run okay um, so sorry that it's taken so long but we um, yeah had to replace parts and all sorts of wonderful things so that will be the middle of the week as well. So the middle of the week should be busy for us. <laughs> no, I think we should go get these up on Monday. Oh, Monday, you think? Yeah. All right. Well, I will post both on um, our Facebook page and in the Aussie Mailers group the link to these when we actually get them out. Chris is telling me, as I said, we're in the middle of, pr of printing these just so we've got enough to just kick off um, and then see how they go and depending on how everybody likes them uh, we'll move on to the next color which they were the, the the green the yellow and the pink i think yep. wasn't it the next three yep so as um yeah that's it i don't think we've got much else to talk about tonight have we Malcolm. oh this is the last month of, of live streams that is true this is the m last month of live streams so, um, hopefully everyone's got their kits and like their feeding mat, travel, travel case, travel case, hello babes. <laughs> uh, price, uh, three, f ah, Oberon, Oberon, you bully, oh my goodness. I think he's bullying me. He's trying to get the he's, sticky no, stuff off. No, he's not. He's yes, bullying he You're just, you just don't want to know your cat's a bully. Um, $3.50, I think, is the uh, price for the trays. Is that right, correct, Chris? Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. $3.50. Mm-hmm. And the mail subscription, uh, we'll start that. The new one, you'll be able to sign up for that in uh, May. And what did we say that one was? Sorry, I was... Mail subscription? People, um, Around the $50 mark. Yeah, I don't think we've had an exact firm price on that one yet. Around the $50 mark for Australian for the mail subscription, the new mail subscription. On a cruise until the 30th of April. Sounds mm. good. Half your luck. What do you mean, go over on? He's being a bully because Evie <laughs> was sitting in his spot on the desk. He's a shocker. He was cleaning oh, he's her cleaning not fur cleaning crap, her. You didn't have to bite her ear to clean her. <laughs> yes, he did. Look at it. Oh my god. <laughs> that's, her that's... that's her tattoo. No. I know the tattoo. All right, guys, I think we're done for I tonight. So. You don't need to it's hear us fun. bicker over the cats. <laughs> <laughs> Be in on the male adventure. What male adventure is that, honey? Are you talking about that's male club? Project, yeah. The new club? Yeah, that should be good. I've got to get some work done on it, but, um, yeah, it should be good. So May is when we will open that up. Now, the initial month um, may be limited in numbers. I'll put that out to you now. So, um, I mean, we don't know what sort of response we're going to get to this, so we don't really know what to buy in advance as far as stock and things like that. So our first month could possibly be limited. Um, that's something you just might want to keep in mind if you're wanting to join up. But that won't be happening until um, May, because we're in April now, right? Yep, yep. May. <sighs> So, Phyllis, if there's places open, otherwise you'll just have to wait till the next month. But, yeah, just while we get a handle on how many people want to subscribe, because this is a lot more component-based than ring-based, which is what our previous um, what our previous uh, subscription has been on, it's a little bit harder for us to predict how much to, to get in. So um, our first month or two, a couple of months of this may be limited in numbers, but then after that, Probably not. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that weave. As I said, nice, easy weave. But um, I just wanted to show you the progression from a base weave to um, the new one. And uh, the other kit this month is on the same basis. There's a base weave and a progression into a different weave. And um, hopefully you guys enjoy our last month with us. All right. I think we'll say good night. I've got a yummy casserole waiting for me. Mm -hmm. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thank you so much for joining Chris and I tonight. It's been fun. Um, will you stop torturing that cat? She likes it. Oh, I'm going to have to torture if she likes I'm it. Going to, um, I'm going to go. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we will catch up with you guys through the week um, on Aussie Mailers. Yes, and our clocks go back. Oh, that's true, Megan. Thank you. Our clocks go back. Daylight saving ends at 3 o'clock Sunday morning. So remember that for next week, guys. We, um, we're back to just our normal Eastern Standard Time. So that'll change for our, especially our overseas people. All right, beautiful. Um, as I said, thanks so much for joining us, and we'll catch up with you later. And I will let you know about the trays and hopefully mail con early in the week. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Mwah. Love you all. Bye.